amidst uh, renewed attempts to impose Hindi on the non-speak non-Hindi speaking areas the debate the language debate has even crept into the film industry we have seen Ajay Devgan and Kicha Sadeep talking over the language talking over the Hindi while Ajay wants in Hindi uh, Ajay takes a Hindi supremacy stand Sudeep asserts the linguistic identity and the rights of the Kannada speaking people. Well, the debate has taken a very interesting turn with the, alleged, uh, with the famous Telugu actor, Telugu hero Mahesh Babu, in an interview stating that uh, Bollywood cannot afford him. Well, he was not actually directly entering into the Hindi versus non-Hindi debate. But he was referring to the reasons why he was he has not shown interest to enter into the Bollywood. But it has invariably led to a debate over Tollywood versus Bollywood. Kangana Ranaut came in defense of Mahesh, uh, Mahesh Babu, stating the that the Telugu film industry has grown on its own, and uh, in the film industry, Bollywood has a lot to learn from the Tollywood. Well, let's look at this debate from a point of view of the economics of the film industry, the Tollywood and the Bollywood. Well, let me tell you, Mahesh Babu, uh, well, it may sound arrogant what he said, but what Mahesh Babu said is certainly true. Well, Mahesh Babu himself clarified that it was not said with arrogance or not said with any ill intent to Hindi or the Hindi film industry. Well, that's true. We should not have any ill intent towards any language. We love Hindi. We love, in, we respect Hindi equally. But the question only comes when you try to impose one language over the other in a country known for linguistic diversity. So let's, let's, let me look at certain facts. Let me place certain facts before you to understand the, 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 the success with the Tollywood has achieved in comparison to the Bollywood. Well, earlier times there were uh, examples of Telugu film stars, Tamil film stars, South Indian film stars trying to make an entry into the Bollywood, but they could not do that. In 19, in the early 80s, uh, Kamal Asan and Rajni Khan acted in a couple of Hindi films like Sanan Teri Kasam, Kamal Asan, Anda Kanun, Rajni Khan. And even Chiranjeevi tried his luck with the tried his twist with Bollywood in early 1990s with films like Pratiban and Ajka Gundaraj. But uh, these great stars of Telugu and Tamil film industry failed to make a very decisive impact on the audiences of the Bollywood or the audience of the Hindi film industry, Hindi speaking audiences. But the things are changing thanks to the OTT platform. Thanks to the social media, thanks to YouTube, today the the mal masala, the commercial elements of South Indian film industry, are increasingly accessible to the Hindi-speaking audience, especially those living in non-metropolitan cities in smaller towns. So, as the Bollywood increasingly becomes elitist, Bollywood is trying to ape the Hollywood. Bollywood is trying to cater to the urban multiplex audience. There is a gap between Hindi films and the audience in the smaller towns, audience in the non-metropolitan areas, audience who do not go to the multiplexes but go to the smaller uh, screens, single screens and, uh, and non-multiplex uh, film exhibition places. Well, here the South Indian film industry, especially the Telugu film industry, could successfully exploit this opportunity, bridge this gap. Let me tell you the uh, the um, uh, the examples uh, galore in this regard. So let me give you some statistics. In 2021, the Telugu film industry total collections are to the tune of 200 crores. Whereas it is 800 crore for the Tamil film industry and only 700 crore for the Bollywood. This is the point one. Point two, the Book My Show has revealed the statistics. According to this uh, film ticket selling site, 
fifty percent of the tickets sold on the book my show, very popular site, are essentially Telugu and Tamil films. There was a time when the Hindi films accounted for sixty percent of the tickets sold on the book my show. So the third example is. So the uh, let me give you an example of the Telugu films which have made. A very significant impact the worldwide, including the Hindi-speaking areas. So it is Triple R or, ba or Bahubali One and Two or Pushpa. Let me give you the example of the Pushpa. So the Pushpa had, is the seventh South Indian film to have clock revenues more than three hundred crores. And interestingly, worldwide, this is the worldwide revenue. Interestingly, according to the estimate by Live Mint, by Mint. A business daily of the Hindustan Times. So the 35 percent of uh, revenues accrued to the Pushpa film are from the Hindi-speaking areas. Well, some other estimates put this figure to as high as even 50 percent. Well, the fourth example is again. Let me also quote another statistics related to Pushpa. So Pushpa to the the work has not yet begun. But the media reports suggest that uh, uh, somebody has come forward to pay as high as rupees three hundred crores to buy the satellite and digital rights of the the Pushpa two. So, but uh, the producers have rejected the offer and they were asking for three hundred and seventy crores. That's the level of the demand. And uh, normally, an Hindi film fetches around seventy and eighty crores for selling the satellite and the digital rights. So that is the level of the footfall which the Telugu film or the Telugu original Telugu films uh, garner in the Hindi film industry and the pan India film industry. Then the fifth one is the Fiki and Ernest Young report um, uh, talks about the audience for uh, for films on the satellite uh, or television also. This is a report of 2017. In 2017, the top two Telugu, uh, the top two films in terms of audience garnered on Hindi satellite television are Telugu films. One is the Bahubali two, and the other is the Vada Jagannatham. Interestingly, the Bahubali two, the repeat airing has got more audience than Dangal. Amir Khan's Dangal was the second most watched film in India. So this is the 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 level of audience which which as with these the Telugu films could garner. Then the then the next point is the sixth point is the in relation to I'll I'll give you an example. There's a uh, uh, Goldman Telefilms, a YouTube channel, which simply dubs these uh, films of other languages into Hindi, especially the Telugu films. And this YouTube channel, which uh, provides dubbing versions of Telugu films, have a subscriber base of over uh, seven crores, nearly seven crores. So, indicating the influence that Telugu films have over the Hindi-speaking audiences today.